Hey, this is Justin from NetGate. Today, I'm going to go over the latest release of PFSense Plus version 2403. We'll go over all the new features and enhancements that make PFSense Plus such a standout solution for your network security and management needs. PFSense Plus provides advanced networking capabilities, VPN support, and powerful traffic shaping, and an intuitive web interface to wrap it all together for easy management. Its security features are top-notch, making it an essential tool for safeguarding your network. Now, let's take a look at the features coming in PFSense Plus version 2403. I'll be referencing the release notes, so I'll go ahead and link that down in the description. Take a look at that for more detailed information. First up, we have the removal of the default password. We're ensuring compliance with mandates from various regulatory bodies. Users will now be required to change their admin account password from the default settings. Specifically, passwords cannot be the same as the username or the default PFSense. If you've already customized your password, you won't be affected by this change. So now let's move on to the ZFS boot environments. I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that updating your firewall can be a harrowing experience. With this next feature, we use the ZFS file system to reduce that anxiety, increase your stability, and minimize downtime during an update. The ZFS boot environment implements a safeguard by creating a snapshot of your system during an update. This snapshot allows for seamless rollback to the previous state in case of any issues during updates. In the event of a failed update, the cloned boot environment is automatically removed, ensuring the system retains its operational status. Additionally, a boot verification mechanism has been integrated into the system startup, automating the recovery process in case of boot failure. For those of you who are interested in learning more about the ZFS file system, we have a deep dive video with Christian McDonald here on our channel. I'll have that linked down in the description. Next up, we have the packet flow data export. We utilize pflow to export packet flow data from the PF packet filter to external collectors using the NetFlow v5 or IPFIX protocols, giving you a detailed view on how your traffic moves through your network. The data is collected directly from firewall states and does not require a separate daemon, service, or add-on package. So why is this good? For effective network management, the ability to capture, visualize, and analyze your network flow data is crucial. This data reveals how information flows through the network, tracking your endpoints, packets transferred, bytes exchanged, and protocols used, without accessing the data content itself. To achieve this, we ported pflow4 from OpenBSD to FreeBSD, rather than using ng-netflow because it is faster, scales better, and can leverage multiple CPU cores. This grants administrators increased insight with more performance when monitoring network traffic. Now let's move on to enhanced gateway recovery. Normally during a failover within a gateway group, if one gateway encounters a failure, all new connections will be redirected through the backup gateway. Now with the enhanced gateway recovery feature, once the failed gateway is back online, administrators have the option to reset all connections that were temporarily redirected through the backup gateway while the main one was offline. This is done by killing the states from your backup gateway. You will also have the option to keep states on the backup gateway and reset these connections as needed. For those of you that have a high bandwidth primary gateway or a metered backup gateway, this feature maximizes performance and availability while minimizing associated cost. So next up, we have a change to the default state policy. It's being changed from floating states to interface bound states for increased security. Uh, floating states are not associated with an interface, therefore it's more lenient in how the firewall is checking against the state table. Uh, interface, as the name implies, binds network states to specific interfaces at the operating system level. Uh, this means that packets must match the designated interface stored in the firewall state to pass through. It's a strong security measure. It ensures strict adherence to interface-based routing for enhanced network integrity and protection against any unauthorized access. So next up, we have two major upgrades coming to our VPN service. We have mobile group pools, as well as some pretty significant performance enhancements. With mobile group pools, users are now able to access a dedicated tab 
where they can easily set additional address pools and if necessary, configure a DNS server. As for performance enhancements, we've upgraded the IPsec MB kernel module to Intel's newest upstream version 1.5, which includes new optimizations tailored for CPUs featuring the AVX 512 and AVX 2 support. These upgrades really empower you to do more with your network infrastructure, whether you're managing complex user groups or just simply aiming for performance. And finally, we have our high availability on AWS. We're excited to announce this for our AWS users. This could be a really exciting change. With our HA solution paired with primary and secondary firewalls, you can quickly fail over between two instances of PFSense Plus and AWS. Our implementation integrates standard HA features with AWS enhancements to provide configuration synchronization, optimal performance, and a reliable connection. When you're faced with a disruption, the PFSense Plus AWS HA offers continued reliability and availability for your cloud deployment, minimizing downtime, and maintaining connectivity of your mission critical operations within AWS. All right, and before we wrap up, let's touch on pricing and support. Pricing for PFSense Plus starts at just $129 a year and includes TAC Lite support. Uh, PFSense Plus is available for download through our store at shop.netgate.com or through our partner program. Additionally, for those interested in testing our latest features, we invite you to check out our net installer and explore its capabilities through our informative deep dive video, which is linked down in the description. If you're looking for a more human experience, our sales team is here to help. You can contact them at sales at netgate.com. However you choose to purchase PFSense Plus, we're here for you every step of the way. And that'll cover it for our overview of PFSense Plus version 2403. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more news, updates, and guides from NetGate. I'm Justin, and I'll see you next time.